Hello, everybody. This is Mrs. Holbrook reporting live from the Foundation's headquarters. Today, we are going to do some thrilling practice interview. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Repeat after me. CH chorus K. Fantastic. CH chin ch. Wonderful job, my friends. And I know all of you love a good vowel team practice. So let's bring up those vowel teams. And don't forget, you have this poster in your handy dandy student notebook. So if you would like, I invite you to go ahead and look in the beginning under the sounds until you see those little cute teams. There they are on page 12. That's my favorite number. All right, let's do it. Point to them in your notebook if you have it in front of you and repeat after me. A I bait A. A Y play A. E I G H eight A. E I vein A. E A stake A. E E G E. E Y key E. I E piece E. E I ceiling E. E A E E E A bread F I G H light I O A boat O O E toe O O W snow O O W plow ow O U trout ow O U soup oo U I suit oo U E blue oo, U E rescue you. E W chew oo. O O school oo, O O book u. O I coin oi. O Y boy oi. Two more. A U August ah. A W saw ah. All right, nice job with all those teams. Don't you just love a good teamwork? All right, and the last part of our warming up today are some sound-alikes. Here they are. Let's pick, let's see, which unit do you want to practice today? How about we practice 12? That's a good unit. Okay, who can give me a definition of this kind of cell? Hmm. Hello, I'll call you on my cell phone. It's funny, you know what? Second graders all had this word to read on their reading check-in and like none of them knew what a cell phone was. They said that they call it an iPhone, not a cell phone. Hmm. And there's another definition for this cell. Yeah, it's the little parts that make up um, living things or cells. You need a microscope to see them. How about this cell? No, I won't sell you my cell phone. Ha ha ha. Good one. Let's do a few more. Which piece is this? Peace. Love and peace. Calm. And what's this? I'm going to rip off a little piece of paper. How about this scent? Yeah, a penny is worth one cent. That's right. And how about this one? I sent you some mail. That's right. All right, let's stop there with our sound likes. Okay, guys, now that we're all warmed up, today is finally the day that we'll start those silent letters that I told you about from the beginning of Unit 13. All right, so check it out. I am going to build a word here. G. H and then OST, which would be this green card. All right, what word did I build? Remember, this is OST. I wish I could type right into that one. All right. So remember, OST is um, like post OST but I want you to be able to actually see it right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the OST. 
All right, so what word is this? Ghost. Let me make, hear you all sound like a ghost. Ooh, spooky. Or are you the other ghost, the one that goes <clears throat> with the book? All right, love those ghosts. Okay, so check it out. If you try to tap this word out, g h o s t, g h o s t. The H is silent. We don't hear it. This H right here, we're actually, I'm going to cover it right up with this card because it's a silent letter. See, we just hear g o s t, ghost. So if I only tap out the G, g o s t. So some letters are silent when they're blended with other letters. And I'm going to teach you a couple of them. So we have this card now. Check it out. The G and the H are together because that combination just says G. All right, here's some other silent letter combinations. When we have a W and an R together, I bet you already knew this one, huh? They both say, they say er. The W in this one is silent. And when we have an R and an H together, the H is silent. So both of these combinations just say er. Okay. So we have cards for these. Check it out. We have RH together. And we have WR together. Check out this whole row down here. It's a whole new row of silent letters. So let's look at the next ones that are on the combination. When we have GN together, the G is silent. So we just say N. Mm. And when we have KN together, the K is silent. So we just say N. Mm. So those are kind of a pair. They're the same. And there are two more silent letter combinations. When we have M, N together, not K, get out of there, K. When we have M, N together, and when we have M, B together, um, we only hear the M. Mm. So on these ones, the N is silent and the B is silent. Hmm. Okay. And then the last one we already talked about is the GH. So you see that one down here too. And that one has the silent H. Okay. So there are a whole bunch of big cards for these that we are going to look at together. Let me just go ahead and select them. Here we go. And I want you to repeat after me when we see them. W R wrist er. R H rhyme er. And there we have some rhymes: fat cat hat. G N gnat n. A gnat is a type of bug, and it's a silent G. It just says n. And here's the pair for this one. It's a silent K. K-N, knife, N. So this is a column. It's a type of architecture that you sometimes see in front of buildings or on the side. And notice in the keyword here, oops, come back, it's at the end of the word, kind of like fox. So we say M-N, column, M. And we hear the M and the N is silent. And same with this one, the, it's at the end of this keyword, M, B, lamb, M, silent B. And last one, G, H, ghost, G. Okay, great job. So let me go ahead and bring up a document here. And let's make some words and talk about how we are going to parse them. Okay. Just wanted to point out in pretty much the beginning on page four in your notebook, you do have a poster that has all of these on it. So this would be something that you can take a minute to do to look at them and color them to help you learn them. Okay. All right. So when we mark them, here's what we do. 
if the word that I'm writing is wrist, right, that's the key word, we underline the silent letter combination and then we cross out the silent letter. So in wrist, the silent letter is W. Uh-oh, I don't know if I know how to do a, cross, a strike through on Google Drive. So um, let's see. The W, um, since I can't cross it off on my computer, guys, I'm going to just go ahead and highlight it, okay? But on your paper, you would actually just cross it off. So let me show you another one. The word rhyme, what's the silent letter, count? what's the combination? R-H, good. And then the silent letter is the H. So that's the one that you would cross off. Let me show you one more. The word nat, we underline the combination and we cross off the silent letter. Which letter is silent here? The G, very good. Okay, my friends, we'll be practicing marking and reading those all this week. The last thing that I wanna leave you with are two new sound alike words, okay? So the first word is nose, and check it out. This nose has the silent K. And this is when you are aware of a fact, if you know something. Look at this nose. This nose is a vowel consonant E. This is just the part of your face that you smell and breathe with. Okay, so nose with a K is like knowledge. You know it, you're aware of it. And nose with an N-O-S-E is this nose. So the O's sound is vowel consonant E in this one. And it's a vowel team, O-W, snow O in this one. Pretty cool. So for today, you just need to go ahead in the sound alike part in the very back of your notebook, right? Where all the sound alikes are. And you need to find nose and nose and enter in these definitions. So pause on this screen until those definitions are entered. And that's a wrap for today. Great job.